Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another gig log wedding edition. We're going out to Raleigh, it's like an hour and a half drive. We're going out to, I think it's called 1972 Barn. It's a barn venue, nice nice barn venue. Should be a good crowd, uh, judging by my preliminary examination. Should be a party crowd, I'm excited for that. But we don't really have much, we're just bringing speakers. We brought eight uplights just because it's really easy to throw a case of uplights in the rig, and also the uplights look really good underneath of my table. We bought eight uplights, and we got the turntable rig, and we got ceremony audio. That's it for the day. Uh, currently, <laughs> been uh, slowly moving stuff into the new garage, as well as all the renovation stuff. Um, yeah, that's been fun. We're actually moving all of my girlfriend's stuff in officially tomorrow. So I got a hectic weekend, just to say the least. But me and Drake are gonna go out to the barn and get this started. Get on the road. Exposure! Ow. We here, we here. All right, we're, we're in the right place. Table, got the GoPro. Speaking of the GoPro, we're gonna unload, which as you can tell is is not much. Yo! Took a second to change, but um, as you guys saw, set up extremely, extremely fast. I mean, we're just playing audio, but we did bring some uplights because I'm just a big proponent. Uplights are really easy to throw around. And whether the client knows or not, lighting, it makes all the difference when it comes to the actual party, the dancing, it's better pictures for the photographer. Overall, just makes me look better, makes their party look better, makes the, the vendors see me as a better provider. So like, it's just a win, 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 win. And the, like I said, the uplights, we just roll a case in, we plop them around the room and we're done. Anyways, doing a very <laughs> interesting, probably gonna get a lot of comments, a lot of critiques, but um, the audio is really, weird setup because of what we're working with and like I've said before I'm big on room placement placing your speakers to maximize the best sound for the room and not putting your speakers in the corner because it's going it's not going to sound the best so with that said let's look at what we got set up so the booths in the back corner like they told us speakers are on either side of the dance floor which is kind of unique we're going to be hitting the sound from either side right now the speakers are turned out towards uh, where everyone's going to be sitting for dinner and doing toast and all that stuff with the mics but later on we're going to turn these facing each other for open dancing now this is a very small room and these speakers have a ton of power when it comes to what they can do so we're going to have no problem with how loud we can get it for this little dance floor section right here and it sounds great like you can take my word for it, it sounds awesome Bass sounds great across the board. Again, small room, it works out, but not the most ideal. So speakers of choice, we're also on an incline. I'm not sure if you can see this. We're on an incline right here. This is uh, this is sloped all the way down to the front. It's not flat at all, but um, speakers of choice, JBL PRX 715X lift, PRX 712. A lot of people have asked me, these are not the 800 series. I do not have an app. I cannot control the, the processing inside of them. I run all these off of the drive rack in the back. So one of those on either side, we got the JBL poles kicking them up. Of course, we have the, the booth of, the whole entire summer the turntable booth i get requests all the time to just bring this out uh like the couples they see this booth and they're just like we want this so that's why i don't really use any other booth nowadays and setup is extremely fast so as long as we can get a trailer in good to go in the booth rain 12 pioneer s9 hp 15t spectra like maxed out computer love that thing uh we have an ipad there we're gonna use for cocktail got a nice fan in the back little stanley fan back there you can see the up lights we have eight of the both s4s chilling around the room running on wireless dmx adj event facade up front come around the back and we have our gig table the audio rack with the side tables go check out the video on this it's dope i've been meaning to build this mic into the rack i have not got around to it this mic will eventually live inside the rack i have not got around to it all all the audio feeds out of the yamaha mg12 up here so we have more capabilities than we could ever need Furman power strip down there chavez show express which comes up and links to that laptop we have the drive rack pa2 down here which controls all the audio processing outlets on the front ports on the back for all the xlrs this thing's dope Go check out the video if you don't know. Ceremony computer right here. This is my new HP Spectra 14T, so 14 inch screen. Love this thing, it's beautiful. Then I got my 13 inch over here running Show Express. Uh, cooler, full of drinks, all the bags, good to go. GoPro for later, 
the coat. And yeah, that's the that's the reception setup. All right, moving on. Let's go to the ceremony area. Well, the ceremony area is technically charging. I'll show you guys the ceremony cocktail and how all this works. I need to get some tanning going. I'm 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 white. So one thing I, I love so far about this venue, the 1932 uh, barn, everything's labeled really well. Like. This apparently is the smoking section. Restrooms, labeled great. Back here is the cocktail area. This is really, really awesome. They got like little cabanas for everyone to hang out at during cocktail. We have the drink station here, the bar tucked in over here. This is just an awesome, cool little setup. Looks like we got like a selfie area over here. Like people can get in here and take a selfie. That's so cool, another little hangout section. So what we're gonna do is, you guys know the Maui 5 Go we got. We'll bring it up here, hook the iPod, iPad up to it. We'll play cocktail music via Bluetooth from the iPad. Guests park up there, they come down through here down to the ceremony. Oh, actually, I think they walk down through this area. So they'll walk down around here, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Come down here to the ceremony. They'll probably have some guest stuff right here. Again, we're a little early right now. Turn off all cell phones, absolutely. Down here, this is where the ceremony is gonna take place. We got our LD Maui 5 Go. I still stand beside this. This is by far the best price, point, value, battery powered, column array, portable, anything speaker for cocktail ceremonies i love this thing this thing is awesome like i i can't say it enough price tag i think is right around 900 dollars, something like that uh, we have two of them i need to buy more because these things are just awesome like you can use them for ceremony cocktail the battery lasts forever on the thing it's like eight hours of battery or something like that i don't know S even if it's six it's ridiculous for what you need but uh we run the speaker there back to our scrimmed out table where we're gonna put our battery ceremony rig we're currently charging it to make sure we got it fully charged I charged it last night i had a little i've been a little nervous lately because the the power wattage on it it says that it's uh when i turn on everything it goes down to like 11.8 volts which i know it's got a full charge questioning it though so i'm gonna need to run some testing when I get like time to verify it works. But anyways, the Yamaha MG06 down here, running Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens right here. Again, they're hooked into our ceremony rack, which is up there charging. That's the ceremony setup. It is currently 3, 3.33, 3.33, my watch just for show. And while they're at cocktail, they also have games back here. They got horseshoes here, they have cornel here. That should definitely be further apart though. That's way too close for cornel. And then they got the ladder golf as well. Cool stuff. We, we ready? Where are we, we ready? I'm meeting this one on my right. Uh, I think a lot of you know, and I see it's well represented here that. Woo! I got hit by like a wall just now. This is why you bring caffeine. We chilling. We went over to the groom suite for a little while because it has a AC. Cocktails going on. I really enjoy when cocktails in a different area than the reception. It's a lot more chill, a lot more laid back. You don't feel as rushed because they're not like over top of you while you're trying to make sure the reception's ready to go and all that. It gives you more flexibility, especially like if you did show up late, you have time to set up the reception. So that's always a good thing. It's like 5.43 and they're not supposed to come over here until six. We're chilling. Drake's on the floor. This is probably one of the most chill laid back things I think we've had in a while. For the lack of better words, we're bored right now. Cocktail looks fun. They're drinking. They're drinking a lot, which is a good sign. You want Ricky's like, five tips to a good party. Well, first off, the bridegroom tell you it's gonna be like a good party. Second, you see a lot of drinking. And third, everyone's dressed well. Everyone's dressed, everyone's having a good time at cocktail. Everyone looks like they're about to have fun. And if you can get them dancing, of course the exposure screws up when I walk inside. If you can get them dancing during dinner, big bonus, if you can get them dancing during dinner, you're set for a heck of a party. But um, yeah, we're waiting because uh, whenever we move everyone over here, we'll do grand introductions. We'll knock out the dances and then um, dinner time. And then we do toast, cake cutting. We're here until about 9.45 though. I don't anticipate dancing to start until like 7-ish, 7, 7.30 maybe. But we'll have like two hours of parties. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys overseas don't really have asked me like, cause it's different over there. Over here in America, it's like typical to do five hours between cocktail and reception, five hours in total. So the ceremony normally takes about 30 minutes prelude, 30 minutes after, and then we have one hour cocktail, maybe an hour and a half sometimes, and then typically one hour dinner, three hours of partying, donezo. Good evening, good evening, good evening, family and friends. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Amy Jones Island. We're gonna air this in our family room. So first of all, we make some noise for Joey's grandma, Stephanie and the audience.
from your seats. Rise from your seats if you can. I need you to scream here. I need you to shout. This is the most important moment right here. Make some noise as my honor to introduce Mr. and Mrs. I already ate my salad. It's smacking. That was good. It's smacking. Anyways, dinner vibes are good.